All right, here's today's money saving tip. To auto pay or not to auto pay? That is the question that no one has ever asked before, but I'm gonna ask it. A lot of people struggle with this in terms of do I put my bills on auto pay? Here's sort of the general consensus of advice. Obviously, auto pay works great if you have a lot of responsibilities and you always have dollars in your accounts. However, here are some things that you should put on auto pay and some things that you should not put on auto pay. Let's start with should not because it's more fun. Utility bills. Yeah, believe it or not, a lot of experts will say don't put a utility bill on auto pay, both because the prices fluctuate so much from month to month and because if you see a giant spike for instance and in how much you're paying it actually could be an indicator that you have a water leak or a gas leak and that's something that you're gonna want to get taken care of like yesterday phone bills phone bills can be kind of confusing on when they actually take the money from your account which is not awesome and depending on your plan you might actually not become aware of certain things that are running up your costs cable bill a lot of cable companies will adjust prices to align with new channels or offerings and you might not know it. or what's the most common thing is you might have signed up for a cable company bill during a promotional rate and then once that promotional rate expires you're paying a very different rate and probably don't notice. Gym memberships. This one's actually more psychological because if you're actually going in and paying it month to month, psychologists will say it'll actually make you go to the gym more because you're actually going through the process of paying. Kind of cool. And now some bills that you probably should put on auto pay. Your mortgage, car payment, loan payments, phone plans if they're unlimited, daycare, and insurance. And I'm just going to hammer home on that last one of insurance because a lot of policies will say once you miss a payment, you could have pretty severe repercussions, including in some cases lapsing coverage altogether. So that's not something you want to miss because I've seen it happen where someone will miss a payment and then literally something will happen to them the very next day and they don't have coverage because they missed their last payment.